that time I were able to you know, <laughs> from the time I were able to complete everything. I will, I always have been an independent person. Being independent can be fulfilled and can also be lonely at times. It is a mixture of many things from teaching yourself to think to embarking on a venture on the road. There are times when I have a need to be on my own. And also time I wanted body around for people voices. But being independent can be a gift or a curse to the one. Here are some signs you are an independent person. Let's see. One, you are being able to complete a task without any help. You are given a task to do at work or have a task yourself with something you wanted to complete. You dress asking for help from others because feeling as if you are not able to do it alone make you feel a disappointment to yourself. Second, you want friends, but that's involved being dependent on others. In the back of your mind, depending on others make you feel weak inside. So it's constantly strong that one thing you can no more with friends and feel like alone. Hurt. And when you finally do have friends, hanging out is harder than you thought it would be. You want to go out and have fun, but there's something inside you saying that if you go out with them, you will be in situations that you wouldn't be in if you independently do something. Else. Or it could just be you being hungry. Four, it's hard to go shopping with others. When you go shopping, you know exactly what you want, so you go and get it. But when you go shopping with them, you have to wait for them to brown and try on things. You have a thing to do, but people do not see it. You would rather just go to the store by yourself. That way, you can walk and weep through the crowd and get in or get out of the store. Fifth, you know when to say no or yes. You don't give a maybe because maybe you are for people who decide at the last minute whether they want to do something or not. You already know if they want to do something or not. And sit. You are strong and focused. You refuse to know to be known what you are what you are doing with yourself. And you don't like so it with yes. You don't like so it with yes. You tend to not be emotional in public, so you act like everything is fine, it's okay, even if it isn't. And so you tend to stay focused when something does distract you from the many emotions. Seven, you tend to take charge. From the time you were able to speak to the age you are now, you lead. You are a natural born leader and you tend to take charge in your situation. You don't like following, you don't like when other people tell you what to do. You like to be a boss. H. You despise owning others. Owning someone else is just air bad air asking for help. It's mean you will be in the debt that makes your stomach turn, turn, and turn. Just thinking about it. Now, you constantly. Your room. Sometimes you come off as a disrespectful person, even when you are not trying to, because you tend to be lying to your own first. And the last, you speak your mind. You tend to let it be known how you feel, which can sometimes get you in trouble. Not everyone understands or appreciates that you constantly know what you want, which can cause people to stay away from you even most of the time. So, I have said this. Being independent can be a blessing and a curse. It's got good and bad thing. Like someone else, like something, everything else is delight. But sometimes the, the four hour can be distressing. Even so, being independent is one of the things in life because you can always find a way around. So it's my presentation today. Thank you.